A new study shows that carbon capture and storage could be a real option in regional Queensland. The University of Queensland has just delivered the results of a three-year scoping study showing that CCS has real potential in Queensland, but the conversation needs to start right away as the window of opportunity to extract maximum benefit from the technology is closing fast. The option scoped by UQ has the potential to deliver a system which significantly reduces emissions, the equivalent of taking 2.8 million cars off the road every year for 30 years. The study shows that CCS has the potential to buy us a significant amount of time to get in and develop workable and affordable 24-7 low-carbon technologies. Some 13 million tonnes per annum of emissions captured from supercritical coal-fired power stations would be carried to a remote injection site by pipelines and safely contained deep underground at a depth of more than 2.3 kilometres. As with all energy technologies, it's important to consider the benefits and the trade-offs, and these considerations are fleshed out in the reports. But more local data is still required before decisions can be made. The leading global climate and energy bodies, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change and the International Energy Agency, consider CCS an essential technology for achieving climate or temperature targets. The reports are all publicly available on UQ's website, including easy-to-read summary reports and a set of detailed technical reports.